understand it. I'm a fucking bitch. But looking around me, the whole fuck, like it was like an OG. another another saga so my girl let me not name names so my girl right then i was in main campus here and so like my girl was like bro i think it was me because i instigate stuff so i was like bro let's go out and she was like game <laughs> so uh we were supposed to go to a house party in gara so like me and the girl we dressed up we went we met with some people in town and then we proceeded to the party <laughs> so we are at the party me and my girl split up because like i couldn't see her i got into the party like they were serving drinks like a lot of drinks there was a lot of drinks involved so they were serving drinks so like as usual i don't drink so like i, I convinced there were, there were some things there like like I, I could take so me i was just chilled getting into the vibe but i was uh, low-key high-key regretting being there so after some time like my girl just vamoosed like she wasn't even around not my girl my girl like my homie like you get my friend my friend was just not there so we had split up so after some time like after i had danced i had just had a good time i sat at the edge of the bed and after some time i, I slept so <laughs> in the middle of my sleep i'm being rocked so i I'm, i wonder like what is happening because it is a spring bed like i'm being rocked like up and down so i wonder like what is happening hey looking besides me <laughs> and even around me it is not even beside me that was the the worst part looking besides me there are people having sex which is okay but looking around me the whole Fuck, like, it was like an OG. <laughs> the whole fucking room, like everyone was having sex. Everyone was having. <laughs> wow. And my girl who was like, not my girl. It is a person like I don't know. I had met at the party. Like she was drunk. And this boy who was like kissing on her and touching, touching her was like he, he he understood like he was he was not as drunk as the girl but the girl was just like any she had blacked out let's just say that this guy this guy was kissing on her and all that like everything that was happening and he was like bro what if in the morning <laughs> this girl realized like she had sex and she doesn't even remember does she even know this guy but because i am there for a party minding my fucking business you know there's this a certain situation that i will have stopped if like i saw like things were bad if something that was not supposed to happen was happening but this time like i just decided to mind my business like it was so crazy like i just went back to sleep <laughs> i didn't even know what the fuck to do because i just i just went back to sleep i'm sorry for the background noise the, it's the person like the staff is cutting the grass so it's loud again sorry for the noise it's grass being cut and you cannot avoid that so your girl is not new to <laughs> to 
sleeping in jail because like I've been there because of shisha like these guys like just caught me like they took me in with people who had shisha and we were all like put under the same the same charge and it was these days where shisha was like illegal it was just like it had been burnt like Friday and Saturday we were caught so I am not new to being caught <laughs> to sleeping inside so there's this one time we were like from it was like my friend's birthday party so like we were coming from she had like put some like she had arranged for a barbecue like not really a barbecue for people to like get like meet up in a hotel and eat cake and eat like nyamachoma what do people barbecued meat yeah now, as we were getting from the venue to the club and we were in Harlingham <laughs> there was this police car that was coming like slowly you know how police cars creep in was coming slowly behind us so me like my ghetto mind was telling me take off your heels run <laughs> my friend and her friends like were not even startled like the police person you know the police guy spoke english <laughs> that's why i knew i was in harlingham hey and was like bro where are you guys from they were like from the house we're going to the club imagine <laughs> me i knew bro it was time to run that time that time that i was thrown into into a cell because of shisha so me and my girls were like bro there's a pool party it wasn't even planned we even have we even had exams on monday so like they were like bro let's go out so me my two friends two yeah my two friends so we got from our place we went to town to kamatatu to parklands so we were in parklands just outside Uni university of nairobi parklands low so we were like standing there waiting for people to pick us up so we saw a pro box coming you know it's not a it's 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 not labeled it's just a pro box it stood like just in front of us so as it stood there <laughs> the guys inside the pro box were asking us question why are you going like why are you standing there like intrusive questions for a stranger so one of my friends snapped and was like bro why are you harassing us we are just here standing you guys are harassing us <laughs> do you know it was the police and you know kenyan police they they don't daddy they don't joke <laughs> oh you don't know they came out of the car that's when we saw the uniform uh we <laughs> the guy was like bro you guys who are you playing with i was about to speak in Swahili because these guys eh, they were not joking they were like you guys who are you who, who are you talking to like that as you're asking you questions you're trying to think that you're hanging out with the big boys Showing you to the big boys. Who the fuck? Who do you think you are? Eh? This guy was just on the radio calling like the patrol car to come pick us up so that we can go like into like we can be taken to a cell. Eh? Me, I thought like, bro. See, this is the time where like we we give like something small. <laughs> Oh, these guys are like are just joking. They just want us to be afraid. Eh? It was not until the the police car came. 
Did I know that it was at this particular time that she knew she fucked up? We were in on the Range Rover now. Now we went like a few kilometers from where we were. We picked other people who were like roaming around. And one of the guys just took off. Really ran. The police car was the police guy was like, let's give him a let's give him a head start. This guy thinks that he can run away from the police. So they caught him. Like they just ran, like they gave him a head start, ran, caught him, and then returned him back to the to Range Rover or Land Rover. Yeah. So so the guys in the car <laughs> Like the guys at the back of the car was like, we were like, ah, these guys are just driving us around and they drop us after like, they scare us. Hey, we went to sail. <laughs> Do you know we went to sail and slept there? Hey, the pool party that we were, we were trying to go to, like, during the night, that's how it just went down the drain. Yani the conditions were <laughs> the conditions were so bad. Yani the, there was no toilet. It was just terrible. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Remember, happiness, wealth, and health. Peace. Till Friday. 9 a.m. is the African time.